Hi, this is a quick demonstration of the travel way stopwatch. Begin by setting the time. This is very simple, you press mode three times. One, two, three. And this will have you on the setting of the time and date. As you can see, the seconds are currently flashing. To reset the seconds, we press the start stop button. To move on to the minutes, we press lap reset. Every time we press lap reset, we move on to the next element to change. Here's the minutes. Again, we press the start stop to move through the minutes. When we're happy, we press lap reset to move to the hours. Now there is a 24 hour clock option here. At the moment you can see the A, which indicates that we're on a 12 hour clock. If we move through past 12, you can see it moves to PM. If we keep going past 12 again, we've now got an H. That's a 24 hour clock, so if we move through past 12, we'll see that we've got a 24 hour clock option there. I'm going to leave it on a 12 hour clock and let's say it's 3.06. Again press lap reset and now we're moving on to the date. Again we're going to move through the days, press lap reset when done, move through the months. Press lap reset when done. The final one is the day which you can see flashing for Friday. Again press start stop to move through until you're happy then press lap reset and we're back to the seconds again. To complete the setting of the date and time press mode and we're back on the date mode, I mean the time mode. Okay so let's see about setting the alarm. Now the alarm on here is a very quiet alarm, it's very similar to any watch alarm that you may have. It's not designed to be a timer to alert you uh, when maybe you're doing some cooking. It's not that sort of timer. If you want a timer like that, you need to purchase a kitchen timer. I would recommend the Renwain timer from Amazon. So if you want to set the alarm, again, we're going to press mode, this time twice. One, once, twice. And we're in the setting of the alarm. Again, we are going the currently the hours are flashing. We're going to move the start stop to move through the hours. Now this will be uh, whether it's a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock will depend on what you've set the time as previously. So we set it as a 12 hour clock, which is why this one will remain as a 12 hour and it will just cycle through. Press lap reset when done, move to the minutes, and then lap reset. And we're complete. To uh, confirm that we press mode and we go back to the time. Now when you're in time mode you'll see this little indicator up here this is the uh, alarm set option so currently it's showing which means the alarm is set on if you wish to turn that off you press lap reset hold it down and press the start stop button and as you can see it's disappeared the alarm will no longer sound and again we'll switch it on like this now the final option would be the stopwatch. To enter the stopwatch mode we press mode once and here we are. You'll see that Sunday, Friday and Saturday will be flashing. That indicates that you are currently in the normal stopwatch mode. Now for a basic, basic stopwatch that you just want to start stop, you press start stop here, press it again to stop and then reset. We've had some customers that have been a little bit confused because what they've done, rather than pressing, they press start and rather than pressing the start stop again, they press lap reset thinking that that's actually stopping the watch. It looks like it has, but in fact you're actually running a lap counter here and the, lap, the stopwatch is actually still moving in the background. At this point it seems that you would think lap reset would reset the clock back to zero but it doesn't because you've still got the internal clock running so and it will just go back to it. So some customers have said I can't get the stopwatch to reset. That's because you must use the stop start button to stop it and stop and start it. So again we stop, we reset. Now if you are out on a sports day um, and you are doing some lap counting and you need a little bit of time just to write down the lap times on a piece of paper uh, it's very very simple you press start stop now as the people are running around the track once they come to the uh, to the line where you want to count a lap you're gonna press the lap 
reset button. Now it's not going to reset, it's going to stop the, the, time, the, stop, the stopwatch and give you the indication of the lap time, but the internal timer will still be running. Like this. Now as you can see there's several other days running here, just to indicate that you're not in the normal stopwatch mode, you're in the lap count mode at the moment. And you can note down on a piece of paper or you can tell your colleague uh, 22 seconds, 0.55 and when you want to resume back to the original internal clock you press lap reset again and we're back there and again if they come round again to the next lap you can press it, note it down, press it again now you can actually start and stop the stopwatch in the lap count mode so let's assume that they're, the people are running around the track and you press lap you note down 108 now rather than pressing lap again to go back to the internal stopwatch you're going to wait until they go around the track for the next lap and as they go past the lap you're going to press stop which will stop the internal stopwatch and then you can press lap reset again to see what that is. Now obviously the internal stopwatch now has stopped so that would only really be necessary probably for the final lap or if it's just a two lap race. And again we press lap reset to reset. And to go back to the time again we press mode. So it's very very simple but it's very very important that you do read the instructions or follow this video just so that you know because like I said we've had some uh, confusion with some of the customers. Um, the other thing is it's very very important with the alarm set that you do it in the time mode not the alarm mode. It will not work in the alarm mode. And the other thing is the hourly chime. Now your, when your stopwatch is shipped to you it's quite possible that the hourly chime may be set already. Um, which can be a little bit annoying for some people who don't want it to have it beeping every hour. So in order to switch off the hourly chime, what you do is you press lap reset, you hold it down and you press mode. Now at the moment, if all the days are showing, I'm still holding lap reset down at the moment here, if all the days are showing it means the hourly chime is on. If I press mode again, whilst keeping lap reset down, all the numbers, all the days that we go off, I let go, the hourly chime will now be off. So that's it, it's a very basic stopwatch as long as you do understand the way it all works. Uh, it can, can take a little while but it really is a very very basic stopwatch, it's extremely lightweight um, and we've made it this way in order for, you know, if you're out, um, if you're a referee for a sports day or a football match, um, it's you don't want anything heavy around your neck you know it's very very nice and light it's childproof as well you have to remove these screws in order to access the battery to replace it there's no on off switch the battery will last a long time probably several years on a single battery so don't worry about the fact that it's on it makes no sense to have an on off switch anyway because there's a clock if you turn it off the clock you'll lose the settings and you'll have to reset it again which would be a bit frustrating uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for purchasing the Travelway stopwatch. If you have any questions at all, or if you think that the functionality is not performing the way it is in this video, um, it's quite possible there may be a defect. If that is the case, please email support at travelway.com and we will get back to you within 24 hours. If we deem it defective, we will send you a replacement immediately and you do not need to return the defective item to Amazon. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day.